Okay, well, this is a bit different. And if you were expecting something a bit more, I'd understand. But it's important to me that we came here. Because if we're going to talk about ships, well, I have to start here. With my first love. This is the Star Bridge. And I'm not joking. I've flown this ship far and away more than anything else I've ever gotten my hands on. I've spent countless hours getting it to where I want it, and even more enjoying it. For the last 18 years. In a universe that most likely only a few of you will ever see. Specifically, this is the S-25 Light Capital Class Modified Starbridge, Class E. One of the most technologically advanced ships in this galaxy. A frankly devastating vehicle more than capable of downing ships ten times its size. It is nigh untouchable when flown well, but can tank an impressive amount of firepower when it isn't. And I know you can't tell here, but it really is beautiful. A slightly curved delta hull wrapped around a centralized thruster block with two dedicated turret mounts and eight weapon slots. This relatively mid-sized assault ship is capable of loading capital-class weaponry, and it does it well. The version I'm flying here is rigged with modified Rothar ionic particle cannons on each side of the ship, a weapon almost strictly reserved for all but the largest of ships, and more honestly, pirates in those large ships. The cannons themselves sit on a rotating 360 degree platform and fire continuously. And this is good for two reasons. First, I can focus on evasion instead of putting my nose on the target. And two, the ion cannons will never accidentally destroy an enemy ship. Which for me makes it the perfect weapon loadout if you feel like collecting a fleet like the one you see here. In fact, I don't have any other weapons on this ship. I simply don't need anything else. Because if I'm being honest, there is no other activity that interests me more than being a terrifying angel of vengeance and piracy among the backwood ports of the Galactic North. That's the dream job right there. Sadly though, I only wish I could dress for my dream job. While I do admire the pristine, polished composite and chrome of the Starbridge, I wouldn't mind announcing myself a bit better with a Jolly Roger over the bow. But customization comes at a cost here, and in this galaxy flying different colors usually means flying a totally different ship loadout. Food for thought, if you were considering coming this way. For the record though, there is a pirate star bridge with a lovely classic black paint job, but the modified star bridge doesn't have a similar paint scheme. That's a bit of a shame. But I can customize the star bridge in other ways. Because I only rely on two whirling ion cannons, it leaves my ship open for a bevy of little tweaks and upgrades, like the inertial dampener system I've been using this whole time. I don't have to swing around to slow down when coming for an approach. I could just tap the brakes. The organic armor I picked up in Polaris space lets me regrow my hull if the shields go down, and the Sigma electrical upgrade has a team rip my ship down to the studs so engineers can rewire it by hand, just to give me a smidge more efficiency in the shields. And all of this means I am a genuine threat to everything else in the system. But I'm not invincible. There are far more dangerous things in the dark than me. Upgrades or not. If the idea was galactic domination, I'd eventually have to move to something bigger, or loaded with better firepower, or just something that decimates the field. The thing is, though, I'm just not going to have as much fun in any of those ships. I'm not here to rule the galaxy. I'm here to take your stuff. This is the ship I use for a very personal experience. I'm not someone who has to get up for work in the morning, 
I'm a lone wolf space pirate with a tricked out hot rod for a ship. Robbing other pirates because it's a moral gray area. That is, in fact, the same experience I've gone for ever since I first flew this ship almost two decades ago. Like rewatching a favorite movie, you can always get a hint of the feeling you had the first time you saw it. This, of course, is not my original Starbridge, just the one I built to showcase here. I've built this ship maybe a dozen times over the years, and it turns out I can all but speed run the process with my eyes closed at this point. Get some opals, get in good with the wild geese, and find a shady port willing to sell those ion cannons. Though I did botch it a bit this time, I captured a leviathan before I could get the hypergate codes, so no shortcuts for me this go around. But the whole process is still fun, at least for me. You should know, I can't in good conscience tell you that you should chase down a Starbridge for yourself. Chances are you're not going to have the same reverence for it that I do. In fact, with the benefit of hindsight, I'd understand if you're put off by the clunky interface, the terrible controls, and the eye-watering low resolution of this old universe. Even if you're a fan of top-down 2D galaxies, there's still better, more modern places to visit. I'm not trying to sell you on this ship. I'm just reliving a memory. Because nothing lasts forever, and I'll pop out a character a bit to say that the company that makes this game, Ambrosia Softworks, permanently folded a while ago. You simply can't buy this game anymore. And this universe was abandoned by its creator long before that. But should you feel inclined to seek out this lost galaxy? Well, there's always a subreddit for everything, right? <coughs> Down below. Oh, excuse me. If you do end up finding this place and patching it to a working resolution, you'll find a space-based roguelike before everything else was called a roguelike. Several major storylines and more than a few minor ones that'll reward you with compelling narratives. Unique ships and weapons rewarded for skill or personal choices. The ability to disable and capture ships and the freedom to actually affect the galaxy how you see fit. And they did this all years ago, even without space legs. But the cherry on top of all this, you can travel back to the time of mods. Mods that don't require an online account. In fact, more than a few things you've seen here actually aren't part of the original game. Things like shield bubbles, expanded outfits, and the technical details of the ships are all little quality of life improvements that the community added along with some more interesting things. I can only tell you it was worth it for me. I like this universe, but I love the Starbridge. And not just because of its truly epic name, I love that it can fly circles around most anything and still pack a punch. I love the way it looks and that I can tinker with it endlessly. But mostly, after all these years, I love that it makes me feel like a space pirate all over again. Leave a comment down below with the ship you'd like to see next. The soundtrack and the mods I used for the game are available on the Patreon. Please do hit the like button for the algorithm, it really does help. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.